we are very happy to be here and to have the opportunity to discuss with the panel of experts uh, the findings of this report. The most stark finding is the massive quality of life impacts that we're seeing among, experienced among people with lung conditions in Europe. Vulnerable populations that are unable to go about and live their normal daily lives without fear of exacerbating their conditions. People foregoing opportunities to exercise outdoors, uh, engage in social activities, people reporting issues with air quality in their workplace in their own home. It's very difficult for them to catch a breath and it really shows that yeah, action is needed across a range of settings in order to address the air quality issues and improve the quality of life of people with lung conditions. Not only the, uh, the patients recognize the role of the poor air quality on their uh, lung health and their symptoms, but also they connect uh, as the causes of uh, poor air quality factors related to climate. So they mentioned specifically heat waves and you know, pollen load as factors that contribute to the poor quality of, of the air. We have many countries having more polluted areas, having more uh, poverty and a poor socioeconomic status. And the situation in those countries are very worse. So we can now see that in those countries, there is a relationship between the climate change effects on lung health and the respiratory patients have more symptoms with climate change but when we compare with the low and, low and middle income countries the situation is poorer there so we need to do lots of things in those countries. So basically from the cradle to the grave air pollution impacts us through our lifespan so I want people to learn about that and also people in health to advise their patients what to do. The main takeaway from the report is the lack of integration of research and policy making at the European level. One of my main areas of research is impacts on the labour force and we're increasingly concerned about occupational health, how climate change is affecting the respiratory and cardiovascular diseases among workers. This is something I focus on a lot and from this event this is going to provide me even additional information and evidence to provide a robust evidence base for the policymakers. I would always advocate for a public health campaign to let populations know, because people don't know. We know air pollution is bad, but what does it mean? So there is a lot of education and a lot of monitoring also to be had. I would first and foremost policy make, review the policy guidelines for air quality standards, bring them in line with WHO um, recommended levels in terms of what levels are safe for us to be breathing in and that will have a massive difference for people with lung conditions but it will also mean that we don't introduce new diseases to populations that are healthy that become unhealthy because of breathing polluted air. We need to create awareness like we do today here. We have a result, we have a data showing us this impact so we need more research and we need to share this research with public and the politicians uh, to raise the awareness and to help uh, them to have uh, mitigations, climate mitigations and legislations uh, in the EU and globally. This is what we need to take in from the report to the policymakers desk that we need to contribute and, and collaborate with them together, not separately. We need uh, this kind of uh, uh, discussion and this kind of uh, um, different perspective. And uh, we need also to explore more and to support the research that connect uh, and that increase the understanding of an interconnection between the climate-related factors and the lung health.